Hey there ladies and gentlemen and welcome back. I'm your host Patson and today we're gonna be taking a look at r slash cheating stories where OP is caught in the middle. Let's begin. My wife keeps accusing me of being pretentious about my music taste. She takes offense over it and views it as an attack on her intellect. That's stupid! You're stupid! Stop being stupid! In terms of music, my wife and I are pretty radically different. She tends to like a lot of pretty big pop artists, and has a very strong love for Taylor Swift in particular, seemingly not out of the norm these days. Demi Lovato, Katy Perry, Ariana Grande etc. are other big favorites of hers. But in general, outside of her love for Taylor, she is not very into music, in that she doesn't really listen to it a lot. I am very much into music, and I listen to a lot of weird shit by her standards. At no point have I ever expressed displeasure with her music taste. I like a lot of the songs she likes, even if I don't actively choose to listen to them. It's not like I am shutting the radio off when Miley Cyrus comes on. Throughout our relationship I have always been a bit distant in terms of showing her my music, mostly because the few times she has heard it, she has disliked it. Which was fine by me, it let me know what she is gonna like and dislike. The issue is that she views me as being pretentious for enjoying my music, as if she thinks I only listen to it to come off as alternative or something. I actively avoid any discussion about music at all now because I know it's going to end up with her feeling like I am hurting her ego, or something, even when I am trying not to. It's not like I am shoving in her face how quirky and weird my music taste is, quite the opposite. If I could, I would rather her think I don't listen to music at all just so that she stops thinking of me this way. It's really not a major issue. It's come to a head a few times recently though. One time we had friends over and her friend played a pop song and she made a snide joke comment about how I was gonna hate it because my music taste is too superior and intellectual for it. It came off quite nasty and mean-spirited, like she had been wanting to say that to me for a while. Another time she got mad at me because she asked what I was listening to and I said it was a song she would hate. Bad bad idea. And she said it hurt her feelings that I think she isn't smart enough for my music. She would sometimes say that she doesn't only listen to pop music, but then later retract that and be like so what if I do? That doesn't make me dumb as if I had called her dumb, which is never something I would say or imply. She is finishing a master's degree in international affairs and I work as an assistant manager at a diner. The idea that she is the dumb one as the relationship is genuinely laughable. I have told her all of this. I am well aware there is a degree of insecurity here. It is not the first time she has felt irrationally insecure about things. She will be the first to admit that, even if she will hate it if anyone else tells it to her. But most of the time it's not being insecure with me, and especially not something as superficial as music. How do I deal with this? It feels like it's kinda on both of our minds recently after the two incidents. I can tell there is a degree of bitterness from her and I just want to resolve this issue and make her not feel shitty about this. I am not upset with her about her being irrational or having double standards or whatever. People get like that sometimes when they feel bad about things. She isn't some kind of bad toxic person for this or anything and I would hate for anyone to get that impression from this post. She is a wonderful, smart woman who I love very much. TLDR, wife thinks my music taste is pretentious and views it as an attack on her intellect. OP, the reason why your wife is so insecure about your music taste is because she knows deep down that her taste in music is part of the basic bitch starter pack. But anyways, OP, I want you to listen to this comment by Reddit user Initial Donut. Well, based on this comment, not a donut at all. Have you talked with her about the issue in the way that you have written about it here? Sometimes you respond to my music when I am playing it or talking about it, in ways that make me feel bad for liking what I like. It's particularly difficult when you accuse me of judging you for your music, or for not liking mine. Can I tell you how these comments feel on my side? It makes me feel judged. It feels like you're calling me a snob and I don't like that you think about me that way. And it makes me totally avoid sharing an important part of me with you. And now for today's second story. My mother cheated on my father and I don't know what to do. Posted by Reddit user Anon800854. I thought maybe posting here would be helpful. So the setup is, my mother is cheating on my father and I am the only one who knows about it. I had my suspicions like a year ago because she would be calling people a lot and she would speak with them in English. We are a foreign family and most of the time she uses her native language when she talks to family and her friends. And every time I would enter her room while she was talking or texting, she would hide her phone. But these were only suspicions, there was no real evidence until one day. 
she told me to book a hotel for her and her girlfriends. And while showing me the hotel in a text chat, she tried to hide the name of the person who sent the hotel. I managed to peek the name, a male name. He sent her a link to a hotel with the message, let's stay at this one. When I saw it my whole world crumbled. We all are a very religious family, so thinking that is a possibility is out of this world for me. Not only that, but she is also using me, her child, to book this trip. I did not know what to do, so I played along and tried to look normal. Some days went by and she went out with her friends. The day before the trip, she came home at like 4 a.m. and when she did, I was awake. I heard her go to the bathroom and leaving it. Betting everything on this, I went to the bathroom and locked the door. And as I thought, she left her phone behind. I guessed the passcode, my birthier, and searched for evidence. And then I found the chat with the man. I couldn't believe my eyes. They were texting like a couple in their honeymoon phase and she called my father, her husband, an uncle. And that's why he couldn't come up. Not only that, she didn't go out with friends, she went out with him. I couldn't believe it and before I could send the evidence to my phone, she knocked at the door. I opened it and gave her my phone. A couple of hours later she went to her vacation with him and I am just devastated. What should I do? My father is the purest soul on this earth. He kills himself at work so we can have a goof life. And he wears always the nicest smile on his face. He never touched us kids let alone my mother. <laughs> should I tell him? What about my sister? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Now for OP's first update. Well after some time I decided to confront my mother alone. I wanted to see how she would react. I thought if she would be remorseful, I could be supervising her electronics and my father won't be hurt. But the exact opposite happened. My mother and sister were going out to eat something. When they came back, I told my sister to get out of the car. I told my mother I fucked up and could we go someplace. She only drove like a couple feet before she got suspicious and irritated. I told her everything. That I know where she went, what she did and with whom. And she denied everything. She got angry and hit me. I got also aggressive and took her hands and screamed at her to say the truth. I couldn't handle it anymore and left, telling her that I would tell my father everything if she would come home. I went home and she came back. I couldn't believe it, the guts to come back. I told my father to come and I laid everything out. My mother denied everything and told me that the college stress was getting to me. She painted the picture that I was crazy and she isn't. <coughs> When she asked me where my proof was, I told her that everything is on her phone. When I told her to give me her phone she wouldn't comply. She was getting defensive and saying stuff like, I am your mother, I will never let my child go through my phone. When I asked her to show it to my dad, she was screaming, How dare you, my husband believes me without going through my phone. Well now I am laying in bed, without evidence, with a father who does not know whom to believe. Only my sister believes me completely. Now for OP's second update. First of all, thank you very much for your kind words and your support. It made the sleepless night bearable, and I did not feel so alone. Well my sister called me to the living room and my mother was sitting there. I sat down and she said, okay, let's talk like adults here. <laughs> she repeated to me her life story and her childhood traumas. And in this moment I knew, I am broken. The woman whom I had so much love for. The one person I would die for. She is crying in front of me and I couldn't care less. While basically she admitted what she did. Not everything. And she was still reluctant showing her phone. I told her. If you really want to mend this relationship. Then you'll have to do four things. 1. Confess everything to my father. 2. Apologize to us for destroying us. Gaslighting me and blaming me for everything. 3. Give me your phone. 4. And when you can't promise to yourself. That you wouldn't do that again. Leave this family alone. Well she did nothing. Blamed me for everything. Criticized the way I was talking to her. Criticizing how I handled the situation. Telling me she'll never give me her phone. Saying she will never tell my father what happened. Because she knows that he doesn't want to know. And stuff like that. Truly anticlimactic. I told her off and she screamed at me that it was her fault for trying to reason with me. I didn't record the conversation cause I did not think about it. I am not built for this kind of stuff. I am a religious man who avoids everything that could lead to negativity. Weakness of any kind completely revolts me. I am truly worn out. I don't have any energy left to deal with this bullshit. I will stand with my father but that's it. When I move out, I'll try to G no contact my mother. Because mending this, I don't see any possibility of it happening. Again thank you very much to everyone. You truly uplifted me in this time. 
And yeah, I'll keep you updated if something happens. Edit. Well, my father and my sister had a call. He told her that I was lying because of university stress and my upcoming engagement. My sister tried to defend me but apparently, he had to continue working and hung up on her. Wow, OP. Your dad may have been a good father, but he is a pussy of a man. Listen dude, some people just don't care. She doesn't want help. She's not sorry. She tried to blame you for her bad behavior. Your mom can't be helped. It's better to just protect yourself. And I'm sure it shakes the very foundation of what you thought was a fundamental truth in your life. Sure, it hurts, but she's not your mother anymore. Anyone that is willing to do that to her own child doesn't deserve to be a mother. Anyways, OP, just go no contact with her for now and give her the freedom to fuck everyone she wants and be a slut at her age. Just focus on your dad. At least help him grow a pair. Good luck, man. Viewer support is the best way for me to remain independent and continue bringing you these daily videos, which will always be here on my channels for you to watch absolutely free. So please consider subscribing to me on Rumble and on YouTube. Both will be linked in the description box down below. Thanks for listening everyone. If you even somewhat enjoyed today's story, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you really like it, consider subscribing to Pat's Hunt to never miss a future upload. Stay strong.